So I've been Ninja Online, guys. Welcome back to We Happy Few. This should be chapter 35, although I'm not the winning argument right on. I'm not 100% confident in that answer. Uh, when we last left off, we were in Hem Hayworth Labs. Excuse me. Uh, we fooled around a little bit down below in, like, uh, the main... Oh, my God. I got burps, hiccups, and everything else. Fooled around a bit in the maintenance area. We're heading to Dr. Verloc's office. I just checked this other side room. I'm checking this room now, and then we're continuing on. Research, May 13th, 1956. To General Bing from Harry Hayworth. General, I must inform you that despite the initial success of our joy program, our supplies of the necessary ingredients will run out. Not necessarily soon, but sooner or later. At least unless the political situation changes and we can once again import them. May I suggest that we begin a secondary line of research? I've read some intriguing phrenology studies that suggest the true source of happiness lies in physical manipulation of the brain. Perhaps we should use the brother uh, we've given ourselves to pursue an electronic approach. Please advise. Alright, let's get out of here. Dr. Verloc is thinking very hard, sir. No visitors. The brominating reaction has caught fire. Sir, sorry to bother you, sir, but there's a fellow here says the reaction tank is on fire again. I said no interruptions. Some of the byproducts are poisonous. He says it's poisonous, sir. Of course there are poisonous byproducts. Tell him to do whatever they did the last time. Dr. Verloc would like you to do whatever you did the last time. No one knows that. He's an imposter. Implement security protocol 187. Oh, yes, sir. That's my favorite protocol. I am full of the fury of the Lord, and I am right weary with holding back. <coughs> that. Let's not break my shovel. Uh. Ye shall not deceive me with empty words, for the wrath of God comes upon Can't the sons of disobedience. To disagree? My dude's dead and he's still jabbering on. The fight was actually a lot easier than I anticipated. <laughs> Probably would have been a little bit different had I, uh, used the shovel there, but I don't want to risk it. is a choice. It's nothing personal. Oh, this one hurt a bit. There's at least one more person walking around. Three people. My count. Oh, 
This won't take a minute. Oh, just relax. Don't Easy. It. That was a trip when I looked down. I was like, oh, jeez. I think I searched everyone then. Was that supposed to be ironic? Is that an original? I thought you were only supposed to give someone a piece of your mind. <laughs> You know half your workers are unconscious. The, the, the fumes issue will resolve itself. Look, I'm very busy recalculating the brominating reaction so it is non-explosive. Unless you've got a magic formula for synthesizing joy out of bleach, whiskey and saltpeter, get out! You're planning to lobotomize the people of Wellington Wells, aren't you? Lobotomize is a rather inflammatory metaphor, but yes, I have been asked to synthesize something stronger and more permanent than joy. Who are you? If you force people to have the emotions you want, then you've turned them into robots made out of meat! <laughs> and what do you think you are now? You are just the sum of the neuropeptides swirling in your bloodstream. You see, the current downer outbreak is just a mass chemical imbalance. But I believe I can adjust the internal hormonal settings so the people stay happy no matter what. You can't do that. They told the Wright brothers they couldn't fly. But they did. You can't do that. Oh, my lord. You're that downer they've been warning us about. I'm actually just here for a bottle of cod liver oil. What makes you think I'll give it to you? This bottle of your new formula. If I smash it and you breathe the fumes, will it make you happy forever and always? You mustn't. It makes the patient insane. Ha! Now you can't move until I take my hand off this button. Oh, Now, where's the bloody cod liver oil Sally wanted? This is the cleanest office I've ever seen. Where does he hide his junk? I wonder if he has a secret lair. Well, he's just the sort who would. What we got here? More reading. Chemical Answer, June 12th, 1950, to Dr. Harry Hayworth from General Bing. Dear Sir, as you know, our citizens have become uh, disparated due to some unfortunate incidents during the war. I believe your laboratory could be of service in restoring moral, uh, morale. On examining the German camp, we discovered that German soldiers were given fatigue pills that contained amphetamines and opioids, which con uh, contrib contributed greatly to their e spirit de quoi. It turns out that's how their men were able to punch through our lines again and again. We were wondering how it was they never seemed to sleep. I believe the answer to our problems may be chemical. I believe you might be the hero we need now. 
I'm aware th uh, that this will inconvenience your own research, but as that, but as that our great Napoleon fighter said, England accepts that every man will do his duty. <clears throat> Hey. Urgent joy request. It's like, what, the third time I've seen this? Yeah. Definitely not the first in any case. Hello. I'm in a haunted house movie. Sally's ridiculous cod liver oil. I better be down here or I shall be cross. Listen, Sally Boyle's gonna come live with us for a bit. Sally Boyle? Why? Because her mum poisoned the whole bloody rest of her family, Arthur. And because we've got a spare bed in the attic now till Percy comes back from Germany. She's your age, you know. She's an idiot. Well then, you two should get along beautifully. I hope. Chemistry questions. Dear Dr. Verloc, thank you so much for showing me your laboratory when I visited with Mr. Adams. As you can imagine, it was very exciting for a girl from a small chemist's shop. I myself have been training to become a chemist and have learned pretty much everything Mr. Adams has to teach me. I wonder if I might come by your laboratory sometime to ask you about more advanced chemi uh, chemistry questions. It would be such a privilege to learn from a real advanced scientist. Sincerely, Sally Boyle. Dr. Verloc seems to be quite the collector. Where's the fucking cod liver oil? This seems like an ominous trap, I'm telling you right now. The King of X! The King of X! The King of X! Don't laugh, Arthur. Don't laugh. <laughs> It concerns me because that means someone broke out. <clears throat> Why is he keeping Sally's cod liver oil? It's the only reason I'm in this hideous place. Dr. Hayworth. February 9th, 1957, to General Bing from Anton Verloc, Ph.D. <sighs> Excuse me. I hope you will not think a mere research chemist is out of line in contra uh, contacting you, but I am frankly concerned about Dr. Hayworth. Despite Joy's great success, he has begun allocating research towards the study of phrenology, a laughable discredited 19th century pseudoscience. Indeed, he talks of little else when he thinks no one can hear him. I'm not suggesting he's actually sabotaging the factory. The recent shortages are the result of mix-ups that anyone could have made. But I know you share my concern about the importance of our work to Wellington Walls, and he won't listen to me or anyone else. What do you recommend we do? Before I pick up that box, I just want to look around a little, or box the bottle, I just want to look around a little bit more. And thank you, Sally, for another wonderful adventure. New secret tour. New secretary recommendations. I promise I can read. Too much reading's the problem. To the new secretary, I hope you have better success in this job than I did. You should know that Dr. V is most insistent that all traces of a certain woman be expunged from the laboratory. If you ask me, she who must not be named was the brains behind this whole operation. It hasn't been the same since she left. Dr. V will also uh, will ask you for information that is in her notes, but you can't give him one of her notes. Oh no, else you'll be sacked like me. I've hidden her papers in the storage room and the computer room, which used to be her office, so you can get them without his knowing. It's complicated, but I'm sure you'll manage. Good luck, Betty. P.S. Dr. V also gets his knickers in a knot if you nip some of his good scotch. Just a word to the wise. Rightfully so, I would imagine. This doesn't look like where the pills go out. 
What's going on this conveyor belt? <laughs> Possibly me. Pretty sure we were in here, or we were out there earlier, actually. Oh, that smells awful. This is where they flushed the chemicals. Alice Liddell's note. Liddell's note. To all employees from Alice Liddell, supervisor. Yet again, I've discovered employees flushing a bad batch of joy down the drain. It will make the fish happy, if not an acceptable, or is not an acceptable excuse. Often we can restore a batch of slightly defective joy by the addition of reagents. Waste not, want not. We can restore a batch of slightly defective joy. How many batches of slightly defective joy have gone out? I have so many joy pills now. What am I up to? 60 fucking pills, oh my god. Uh, a hatch, lovely. I've never seen so many hatches in my entire life. Did they fall in? Or were they pushed? Or were they flushed? a lot. Thank God. Why does it seem like there's blood there? What the hell? does it to me. I have to go back to uh, the safe house anyways to drop off all this crap, so Good night, all. might as well just fast travel. Things you smell when you barely see. There's no way my shoes are almost worn out already. Jesus. I don't need all this fruit on me. I could probably get rid of some of it.
I guess I'll switch it today. Nah, fuck it. It'd be better for me just to move around at night. Did not mean to take the joy. Fucker. I do that all Stuck the time. Is a bug on a drug. Whatever. And I went around the wrong fucking road. Jesus. Oh my god. Why can't I go through this door? What the hell? Odd. After nearly getting me killed, she put out my bloody letter of transit. So? Sally? Salamander? If she's not here, I swear to God I'll kill her. Hi. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. Oh, you're a lifesaver. It's a bloody souvenir. God, it's awful. Have you got my letter of transit then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. How are you holding up? What do you care? How are you going to get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want. Always what you need. Every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil! Do you really th think I'm that awful? What, just because you fucked my dad while you were living in our house, in my mum's bed? Wow. <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Look, I don't hate you. In the strangest way, you're completely innocent. You're practically the only one I know who is. It's on the dresser there. Are you going to be okay? I could take you with me. Really? We have to go now. The joy's gone bad. It's going crazy out there. I can't go right now. Why? Oh, God. No. It's not simple. It never is. We'll have to wait till dawn. No, that, that, that's crazy. I, I can't. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. Look. There's something I haven't been entirely straight with you about. Oh. It's just self-preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. Wow. Do you think she really meant it? The kiss and all? What if I went back and said, yes, yes, I'll take you, and they lived happily ever after? No. A girl like that shipwrecks, and the next day she's drinking margaritas under palm trees, and you'll suffer for shocks. That is it. Never again. One port and shy. So I'm going to have to wait a little bit before I can do that. Letter of transit. You are allowed to cross to the parade district. I am an awful person. But what should I have done? Should I have turned around and said, yes, I will. Yes, come with me. We'll go at dawn, whatever you say. I'd always used to wonder if I'd run out the door after her that day, what would have happened to us? Would we still be friends? Or is that magic all in my head? Who am I kidding? 16 year old me would never have that courage to leave home. And here I am, running out the door when she wants to come with. Not entirely unlike what I did to Percy. I wonder what lies I'll tell myself about her later. Am I really doing this for Percy? Is that just another convenient lie? Because I needed a reason to go off joy. And he was the only one I could come up with. Uh, what if she is utterly sincere? What if she honestly does want me and love me and need me? Do I have utterly no faith left in anyone? And she'd survive and I'd get killed. A girl like her shipwrecks and the next day she's drinking margaritas under palm leaves. Yours truly is shark bait. I can't. I just can't. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, 
Might as well just fast travel. Well, that was scenic. I'm just gonna overload myself on Jory. I can't keep taking Joy like this. And now we wait. Then I'm gonna uh, fix up my stats and then we'll go from there. You wanna be a happy idiot again? Try not to dream about trains. We're life for noise. Pop a joy. Cool. And now I will be on my way. Crossing that bridge to parade. Lovely day for it. May I see your letter of transit, please? Welcome to the parade, sir. And may I say you've arrived not a moment too soon. What do you mean, Constable? A word to the efficient is sufficient, sir. If you catch my drift. I would not count on this bridge remaining operational in the near future. Nudge, nudge, smirk, smirk. Say no more, say no more. And these guys. We like to work, are we? I don't like trains, Arthur. Are you joking? You love trains. Do you remember when we went to Plymouth on that train? You didn't want to get off. That was in 1941. Yeah, it must have been. I... I... I, I don't want you to go to Germany. You think I want to go? I don't know where we're going, I don't know what they're going to do with us there, and who knows if we're ever really coming back. But I don't have much of a bloody choice, do I? Who would talk to me when you're gone? Dad talks to you. Well, no, I suppose he doesn't really. But he does love you. I believe you, Arthur. He's just really rubbish at showing it. Parade, just like I pictured it. Strange to be back here. How long ago? The last hatch. Or was it I used to just trundle off to work every day, right around here? Now I just need to get into the broadcast tower so I can get into Appleholm Station and find the train tracks to the Britannia Bridge. Bad boys, and we'll be zipping around. <laughs> 